hello guys hope you are doing well in this video i will be explaining about uh, load balancer type ingress controllers uh, it will include a demo where i will be deploying ingress nginx controller i'll be creating ingress rules i'll be deploying some sample applications and that's going to uh, magically create a load balancer in AWS. So the first thing is that uh, basically you have, um, let's say you have a cluster, a Kubernetes cluster, and you have multiple microservices in the cluster. So if you, all you're worried about is service to service communication, like microservice to microservice communication, then basically it's, you don't need to be worried about ingress. But if you have any sort of external traffic, um, you know, that's coming from another Kubernetes cluster or from internet into this cluster, into your Kubernetes cluster, then you need to have uh, an ingress controller and ingress rules defined to redirect the traffic appropriately. Okay. So that's that. So there are two types of uh, ingress, like services actually, like, you know, when you expose services, you can define service types. So ingress controller uh, basically defines or creates a service for its own purposes. And like you can have it create node port type service, or you can have it create a load balancer type service. You know, in the past, I've only used a Kubernetes cluster for my own purposes, not at work. Like I've used a Kubernetes cluster, which uh, I created using kubeadm, uh, but those clusters didn't have the ability to do anything in AWS. Like I, if I have to enable that capability in my Kubernetes cluster, I have to go through a bunch of steps actually to uh, configure AWS in my cluster and I don't want to go through that pain. So what I did was actually I went and I created like a cluster in AWS EKS and that's actually Elastic Kubernetes Service. And in this cluster, basically you have, you know, you have everything that you need to basically interact with other AWS services. So it comes with the cluster. So that's the beauty of it. Okay, now let's jump to the demo. I have already set up my context to point to my uh, EKS cluster. So, and that's that. And we're using the EKS cluster that I just showed you. And it's, ha you know, it's got only one worker node and basically no resources so far. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing is, I'm going to deploy uh, an Nginx, Ingress Nginx controller. So that's the Ingress controller that I've been talking about. So we are going to go to this, this website where we can get this Ingress Nginx uh, controllers uh, manifest or YAML files. So we can just simply run this command, which will um, kind of make things easy for you. So it's going to deploy the Ingress Nginx controller. So I'm just going to copy this command and paste it here. So this is going to create a bunch of resources starting with an Ingress Nginx namespace. And finally it creates a, a load balancer, uh, you know, as well actually. So right now there is no load balancer. If I refresh it, you can see that it's being provisioned. So while this is happening, you can actually see the other resources which were created in the namespace, this particular namespace. So we have a bunch of uh, Ingress Nginx admission pods and this is the controller part that's still running. It's deployed as a deployment, has one replica, a couple of jobs actually which created these pods. But the main thing is the 
ingress nginx controller service which is of load balancer type and has a cluster ip but more importantly it has a external ip slash load balancer and this actually matches with the load balancer that i just showed you so if you're curious it's ad2264 and ad2264 okay all right so now we have a load balancer type service uh, that's created by ingress nginx controller so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some deployments uh, basically deploy very simple applications um, based on nginx image and httpd image so let's do that okay so one is based on nginx and another one is based on httpd i'm going to create a cluster level the cluster ip services to point to those uh, services or applications and this is all being created in my default namespace okay so that's that so let's do a kubectl get all so now we have two deployments and two front end services and this is the default kubernetes service we didn't create that and uh, you know it's got each deployment has one replica so we have two replicas for two deployments here so that's all good now main thing is that we need to create an ingress class and this ingress class is uh, you know my understanding is that it is used actually to specify which ingress controller should deploy your rules actually okay so i'm actually going to deploy the ingress rules so if you see over here we have the rules so this is the ingress resource that i'm going to create and the way it's going to work is if i specify um you know my url which is going to be my load balancer endpoint slash httpd uh, basically the ingress controller should redirect the traffic to front end one service if i say uh, the load balancer url or the endpoint slash nginx it should redirect the traffic to front end two service so and here we're going to have to specify an ingress class which basically refers to the the controller that um, should implement this these rules actually okay so the let's actually go ahead and do a kubectl apply that so the class is basically created already uh, and i'm going to deploy the rules now okay we have the rules okay so all good now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my load balancer and the load balancer should be ready and i'm going to copy the dns name and i am actually going to my browser and basically paste this dns and i'm going to do slash nginx and i expect the controller to take us to the nginx port or the nginx service and if i do a slash httpd and basically that's going to take us to the the default website coming from the httpd pod or the service so that's basically the the rule that i defined so we have successfully uh, implemented uh, an ing ingress controller and a set of rules to actually control our web traffic actually so that's pretty much it and i hope that was clear and useful thank you